called cauliflower melaga chukka. This is uh, something that I had in my office seminar for lunch and I prepared this at home. It came out really well and today I'm going to post it on my blog. Uh, it's very simple. There are some preparations you need to do prior. Uh, like uh, over here, we have uh, taken this cauliflower and I have uh, removed uh, most of the stem from the cauliflower. So you know, it's uh, just the florets that I'm using and uh, it's about uh, 250 grams I think and uh, we need to um, do follow the link given below. I have shown how I clean my cauliflower and bro broccoli. So follow that link and uh, clean the cauliflower as per the video. And uh, over here I have uh, crushed peppercorns. We need, uh, we need to crush the peppercorns. I've used a mortar and pestle. And uh, this is uh, three different uh, types of flowers that I'm using. All purpose flour, corn flour and rice flour. Uh, then a taste maker that is Ajinomoto, that's optional, that is MSG, it's totally optional. If you want to use it, you can use it or you can leave that out. Now, these are the ingredients that we require. Uh, you have to sort out prior. And uh, the rest of the ingredients I'll list out in my blog. Blog link will be posted in the description box. Now, let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to prepare a batter. Now, this is uh, corn flour, all-purpose flour and rice flour. So we'll add about um, half a spoon of this crushed pepper. We are going to use crushed pepper later and uh, we also need to add uh, salt. As per your taste you add salt. Now we are going to fry the cauliflower in this batter and we'll add uh, the ginger garlic paste, ginger garlic paste, and some uh, little bit of taste maker, just a pinch, not much. And we need to mix this using water. We'll add uh, water little by little and we'll mix everything. This is very less quantity what I'm doing. It's just for me and uh, dad. My mom is not having. We need to prepare a batter, uh, like we prepare for pakodas. I've also kept a wok with um, oil and uh, I'm going to add the cauliflower florets to this and uh, I'm just going to start frying it. So I'll add the florets and we'll have to add uh, about, we have to separate these florets while we add it to the oil uh, one by one and uh, we'll fry them up till golden brown. So I'll add this to the hot oil. Now I finished adding the cauliflower florets to the oil and I'm just frying it till it's well done. So this will take about 5-10 minutes for me. Um, I'm just going to keep, uh, I've kept it on a low flame and I'm frying this. 
I am using uh, regular vegetable oil. I don't know why it's foaming today. Uh, but you need to fry this till the cauliflower is well done and it turns a bit golden brown in color. So I will finish doing this and I will show you the next step. I fit frying the uh, cauliflower florets and this is how it looks. Once it turned uh, golden brown a bit, I removed it from the oil, I drained it and I reserved it in a bowl. Now all that we need to do is uh, prepare the masala and uh, we can add the cauliflower and serve it up. Now I like to give a tip over here. If you want to serve this just as it is, uh, do go ahead and uh, serve it with uh, some coriander, a bit of pepper, salt and you can squeeze some uh, lime juice on top and you can serve it just like that. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the masala and then add this to that. Now I have gone ahead and heated a pan uh, with uh, about 2 tablespoons of oil and uh, first and foremost what I am going to do is I am just going to add the uh, finely sliced garlic We'll add uh, the onions, chili, we just need to fry this a bit. very tasty with uh, any South Indian meal. Really tasty. Yes. Everybody should try this. Now I'll allow this onion to uh, turn transparent and I'll show you the next step. Once the onions have turned uh, transparent, to this uh, we'll add the uh, bell pepper, capsicum. Now to this, I'm going to add uh, salt and a little bit of water and just allow the capsicum to uh, cook. So well done. I'm going to add salt and uh, just about 2-3 spoons of water, not much. And let this cook and I want the water to dry out. So once that is done, I'll show you the next step. Now the capsicum, onion and uh, the uh, garlic is cooked, it has come together. Now to this, I'm just going to go ahead and add the uh, cauliflower. We also need to add uh, the peppercorns which we crushed earlier. So we will add uh, about half teaspoon. We'll add uh, the ajinomoto, about one inch. This is optional again. If you don't like it, please leave that out. Just need to try this.
Now we'll uh, fry this just for uh, two minutes and uh, we'll garnish it with uh, coriander and we'll serve it up. It's done. So I'll show you once I finish garnishing and I'll serve it up. I've gone ahead and served my cauliflower. I've just garnished it with some coriander and uh, this is how it looks. Do like this recipe. It's very good with rice, especially South Indian meals. It's really good. The recipe in detail is on my blog. Blog link is posted in the description box. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.